What is manipulation? Manipulation is a deliberate use of control, influence, or coercion to achieve a specific desire. Manipulation can be positive, but this update is to make you alert of the negative manipulations. And now it's going to be a series where I'll also talk about manipulative men, but this one now it's manipulative women because it's a ladies first. So let me start with the ladies. Number one, space effect. What do I mean by space effect? A woman wants to get you to do her bidding, irrespective of how unreasonable that bidding might be, all right, or how selfish or how evil that bidding might be against your own conscience. She develops what is called the space effect. She starts staying away, starts staying on her own, pressing her phone, the silent treatment. When you talk to her, I say, mm. Oh, baby, how are you today? Mm, I'm fine. Well, mm, is that food? Your food is there. Is that my food? Mm, yes. You know, she just gives you the silent treatment, the space. All right. You could actually bring out silent treatment as one of the space effect techniques. All right. So I'm not going to just dwell on silent treatment, but generally about spacing, keeping the distance away from the man, just to make the man wants her or come after her and say ah, what's happening what's this what's this and if you're not careful all right that space effect would affect you negatively that you might be right all right but sometimes you might also be wrong it could possibly be that she's developing that space effect to get you to do something or probably she's actually no longer interested in you because you're no longer doing what she wants you to do or what she actually wanted you to do in the first place right so be very careful not to get carried away because she's distancing herself from you when you observe you look, notice it oh my guy they're your own lane too now you'll be Percy Pequeno you don't want your mother to hear that you slumped and died because uh, you were pursuing attention come on be a man number two gaslighting now gaslighting is basically trying to shift the focus from the problem and to something else all right just to create like a distraction and amplifying that distraction okay so now gaslighting is one of the major techniques that women use to manipulate men when you accuse her of probably uh, being mean to your mother or to your siblings of cheating or probably you ask her can i see your phone or let me just send a message or check something another issue comes up Yes, this is not this. Da, 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 da. The other day, uh, I saw it, and your auntie did this, or I saw you with this. Yeah, but come on, that's what we're talking about now. This is the issue. Let's talk about this. Yeah, don't forget about this one. This is okay. Can you open your phone? What do you have to do with my phone? It is nice to check your own phone too. This, I'm not saying that men should go and start checking your phones or women's phones. Or I'm not asking you to do that. All right, you there, you only mind your business too. Okay, and you, the woman, if you know there's nothing, you're, you're not hiding anything. Open the phone now, or guinea. I was the problem. Just open open the phone. End of story. But basically, she would make an issue, a very big issue, build a mountain out of a mold hill, okay, and turn it into something else. And before you know it, you guys are fighting, arguing, quarreling, and all shouting. Not about the main problem. Not about what you asked, <laughs> asked her about, all right? But something different entirely. And the gaslighting has shifted the focus to something else. And you have been successfully manipulated my friend successfully i should go to one corner and say yeah, omo. tell her call her friend always i say omo babe omo yama almost yama, yama almost gas for us so hey thank god i'll be sharp babe say i just quick 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 shift the whole attention omo then at the end of the day she was expected to come and apologize and say oh baby is that why i see angry sorry now no 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 i don't like this kind of nonsense so no 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 no, 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 no. hey dude uh-uh i need to give you auto reset slap serious one <laughs> number three very 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 popular in fact one of the most popular ones number four is the most popular number three the second most popular manipulative technique women would use is the emotional blackmail the prove your love tactics they will tell you eh, you're not buying me this because you don't love me if you know you love me eh, i need 100k to go to school just like the other day a clown said if you to date me a uh, talking face is 20 million those are manipulative women young people should be listening to such ignorant and retarded folks all right they never see life yet okay so if you love me eh, you, you 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 go out on vacation only the man cannot afford the vacation you force him to take you on the vacation 
you force him to get your iPhone 15 Pro Max. All my mates are using iPhone 15 Pro Max. Eh? The latest iPhone, iPhone 16 is about coming out. I'm still using iPhone 12. You even the iPhone 12. Are you aware that some people are in iPhone 6? For the fact that you are you even alive and you get phone, you suppose they thank God. Prove your love tactics. This person's wife, husband did this for him, for her. No, no, no. You have to prove this on me. You have to come on. Don't let any woman blackmail you emotionally. When they start bringing uh, and they prove your love tactics, the emotional blackmail, bros. Let me just advise you: run for your life. If you're already married to the person, uh, I will advise you to divorce her because of that. You need to sit her down and set her on the right track. And there are ways to manage her to make her understand and see reason. But it's going to cost you your mental health. Your security, all right? Uh, I think you can actually walk away. Yes, you can actually walk away so you can stay alive, all right? But don't let anyone pressure you. But if it's just a relationship, man, please end it now because it's going to be worse when you get married. Four, and finally, the most dominant, the most popular manipulative tools that women use, whether for good or for bad. But since we're talking about the negative now, is tears. You've heard the word crocodile tears. Uh, women, it's by reflex, by natural instinct. They can actually produce tears on the go. So when I see uh, uh, some people rate actresses who cry very well in movies, they say, me this lady can cry. Come on, it, it's easy for a woman to cry. It, it's very easy. When she's happy, she's crying. When she's sad, she's crying. When she's uh, angry, she's crying. When she's disappointed, she's crying. When you give her a gift and uh, uh, she's not pleased, she's crying. Or she's overwhelmed, she's crying. So it is by default. They can actually produce tears easily. Now, it's, it's, so it's left for you to be very smart to know which tears is actually which. So you don't misplace <laughs> the tears. <laughs> All right. So you don't, you don't, you don't take the, the, the tears of manipulation and take it for love and say, oh, I'm actually hurting her. It's paining her. Or more. She's just using you, making you do her will, bending you to her will. She would cry to make you prove your love tactics to her, all right? To make you use that prove your love tactics on her. She would cry to make you try to close the distance she's creating with you. In fact, um, she would cry to do for anything. So you need to be smart so that you don't let a woman's tears lead you. I've seen, in fact, there have been cases where the woman would come home and cry. Can you imagine? So you just sat down there. And this man, this, this woman, this woman's husband shouted at me. You did not do anything. So you are, you are gingering your husband to go and fight. And by the time the man went out to go and confront the other man, and that's how the man lost his life. He never came back. He never came back. Then she started crying as a widow. Oh, my husband. Who, who pushed him to his, to his end? You did. By being manipulative, by crying. And the man looked at your tears and he was moved. He was stupid enough to be moved by those tears, not understanding what tears were coming out of your eyes. That was not the one of love, but the one of a wicked and an evil manipulation. Guys, you need to be smart to understand tears. Not every tear is genuine. Yes, I stand by my word. Most tears are manipulative. You need to be smart. Because this minute, the person who is crying and acting weak, and is just because you don't do a beating, you'll be surprised where the strength will come from. And she will hit you with everything she's got. So where, where did those tears of love and pain and weakness and hurt and, and gentleness and plea and every... Where did those tears go to? It was never there in the first place. And now you are facing the reality. Be smart. I always say, you know that getting? Get sense. Very what? Important you get sense. I'll see you again in my next video. Don't forget to like, share, drop your comments, and of course, subscribe. Bye.